Today we are back to some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's multiplayer the drama card warrior game which I haven't played in roughly a week and a half because I've been busy with everything else. I do want to point out that you can actually be pay to win now in this game, you can actually buy coins, but it's also kind of pointless to do that. You know, I pointed this out in my last video and uh, I don't know if you guys might have seen that or not, but like actually, matter of fact, we got, uh, we got, we can open some stuff. We got one time guaranteed legendary summon. I think this is just, this is a login bonus. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's see what we get out of this. I'm not going to speed through this. I mentioned this in my last video, but there's no point in, in buying currency in this game because you actually get, uh, you can actually build any card in the game. Oh, we got Gotenks, which I already have, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but we got a new Bulma, which she, eh, she's okay. She's not that necessarily. This kid was actually kind of nice because uh, it's a guard card. It's an SP guard card, actually. I use it already. Go take this whatever. You can actually build whatever card you want. And I highlighted that actually in my last video. Now, in case you're wondering how this is done, when you go into your deck edit feature, you can press square and view all cards. So this is basically anything that says zero is something you don't have. Now, notice how I have only one copy of this Guldo. I have enough points to make another one. And in fact, we're going to do it again because this is actually a decent Guldo card and then fits uh, my theme of my uh, of my deck. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to make a second one real fast. And we're going to hop in. And uh, I don't know why I didn't have this Guldo already because it's actually a decent card. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is basically a free guard card, I want to say. Yeah, it's always guard, and it's only two stars to activate, or two uh, costs to activate. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these in my deck. And we're going to go ahead and hop into some... Oh, Tournament Battle is actually active right now. So... Okay, that's kind of cool. I like this. If you guys want to see a tournament video at some point, let me know. But it seems you get to choose between, between, between green, blue, and red. And I feel like they shouldn't show you the losses or data until after you join a team. Because I feel like everyone's just going to see Team Green just join automatically. <laughs> Poor red and blue. We're not going to do it today. We're going to hop into rank match. But if you, want, if you guys want to see some tournament battle action as well, which I assume is just going to be a bit more competitive, hit that thumbs up and make it happen. How about, uh, let's say, get this video to a cool 5,000 likes and we'll do maybe a weekly video of Card Warrior. Because I definitely want to do more Card Warrior based videos on the channel. I just don't want to overdo it. Until they release more cards, I don't know how much you guys want to see me use the same deck over and over again. I mean, let me know. Again, I like to read the comments of everything you guys say. And based on what the majority says, I'm going to follow what the majority says on the channel. So let me know what you want and I got you. All right, and we got, looks like, uh, Tealy Green. Hey, I, there could only be one Beerus here. Oh, that's a terrible hand. Okay, that's a really, really bad hand. So, we're going to go ahead and rotate out everything. I'm going to keep the Shenron because that's actually useful. Okay, it's better. It's way better. Okay, and they got to go first. Somebody loves me out there. What's up? Oh, they immediately quit to build up the bar. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, actually. You know, I feel like in this game, you should start with two bars or two uh, energy at least. Because I feel like most people, when they start, if you have no zero card, car zero card uh, costs, zero cost card in your field, no one makes a move. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put you down. Yeah, because most people want to build up energy in the first turn. It's like powering up in Budokai before you start playing. But if you have zero cost cards or cheaper ones, like for example this Guldo, then you can actually take advantage of those in the beginning. But most people probably just, they want to skip so they can build up. Play my cards correct. Ah, they are going to summon something. Is it a guard card? Stupid. I assume it is. No! Why? Really? That was a waste! I wouldn't have done that. Interesting. Uh, I mean, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be childish and attack you for a thousand. <laughs> I feel like everybody should have this card in their deck. It's a pretty common one star uh, starter card, so I think actually it starts. You start the game with it. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't know about Dende. I'm gonna go ahead and set Guldo down. It's gotta be over real quick. And I'm gonna just attack you directly for another one thousand points. Did you know, if you had a PS5 controller, when you get hit, you actually feel a lot of points? <laughs> Yo, imagine if the PS5 controller actually did that, would just zap you every time you got hit. That would be ridiculous. That's fine. Attack me. And you know what? I'm not even going to attack you after this. I'm going to let you attack me directly just so your uh, Dende goes. Battle for Earth. Okay. All right. Okay. Already. Great Ape Vegeta? It's, it's a Vegeta. Oh, wow. That did, that did 5,000 damage? What does that do? Hold on. What do you do? Upon uh, deals five dollars damage upon, to your opponent's leader or one. Why did you not attack my ghoul though? You should have done that. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the field. Actually, you know what? I could attack his dende, but I'm attacking directly actually. And the reason why is because so he's gonna crash his dende into my uh, ghoul next turn, 
and then most likely he'll finish me off with Vegeta. But by then, I'm gonna have my key back, so I'm gonna hit him with the uh, uh, with the Golden Fighter special. I control this field. Okay, of course you got a Ginyu Frog. By the way, if you have Ginyu Frogs, uh, definitely add those in your deck. They're zero cost. They give you free defense for a turn. They will save your life. It's kind of funny how uh, Ginyu Frog is one of the best cards in this game. But it is. It really is. I'm not even, like, trolling. I have three of these. But, of course, I usually never draw them when I need them to be drawn. Why did you do that? You should have attacked with you should, you, Vegeta and Dene should have jumped Guldo. Because now... Oh, okay, that's that's why he was he was just getting ready for his childish play. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's fine. I still control this. It's it's okay. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna actually hit you with the uh, with the special. Let's get rid of uh, you have six thousand attacks. I'm gonna get rid of you first. I'm not worried about. So here's the dilemma. If I crash into this, actually no, no, no. If I crash into this, I'll still have 6,000 um, HP and he only does 5,000 damage. I'm chilling for another turn. We out of here, what's up? What's the play gonna be? I mean, hey, look, Tealy Green. You still got six in the bank. You got seven key on deck. You can do some good counter attacks. So five, it's gonna be another one will sell, isn't it? Oh, okay, that instead. What are you bringing out? Trunks, what does he do? Adds 1,000 to all outside the field. Oh no! That's just enough. That's just enough to take out my raccoon. Okay. All right. All right. I respect it. Not really, but that's fine. You got to do what you got to do. Okay. Um, I guess this is the right time to do this. We're just going to draw. Draw two. I'm going to just stack my deck real fast. Ooh. We'll get rid of you because I don't need you right now. Uh, draw two more. I might have to break my bank here in a second. Oh, actually, no, we don't. We don't even have to do that. We'll get rid of you because all that does is add swift. And one more draw. Oh, look at that. Look, look at how it works out. Look how this works out. Okay, I think I'll get rid of um, you. Because I don't really need you right now. So what I'm going to do here is... I'm not going to break the bank yet. There's no point. I'm going to just drop two Ginyu Frogs. Again, Ginyu Frogs are one of the best cards in the game. You should absolutely be using this. Absolutely be using this. And I'm going to just end. Because what's going to happen here is, is next turn... So I'm gonna have 13 in the bank, and I'll have eight key. I'll be able to bring this out. So whatever he summons, I'm gonna one shot. And he can't attack me. He's gonna have to basically kill one of our frogs now with uh, with his trunks. And then he can't attack again. Now, I'm, uh, this is still my game. I, this is 100% my game. I am confident right now. Okay, we're, break, we're breaking the bank already. Interesting. Peon summons, oh, these cards are so annoying. They, they can't attack directly right away, um, but it's still annoying to have them all on the field. Actually, why did you do that? Because your max is going to be... Oh, that's what you're going to do. Oh, he's got one of those decks that just attacks you directly all the time. Okay. You know what be funny? Actually, I'm going to show you what's about to be funny. I'm going to clear out this entire field here in a second. Watch. And then uh, Spirit Bomb, what, is, what does that do? I think that just gives, him, gives himself attack, yeah. See, because he activated those... Oh, of course he did. Oh, of course he did. Since he activated the peons, his field is full now. Because I think the max is six cards. Okay. So basically, if I don't defend myself right now, I lose. But let me show you a little trick here. Okay? Y'all want to see a little trick? Oh, no. It won't work. It won't work. Okay. Let's get over you first. I was going to say, can I, can I shoot myself? You if I could shoot myself, me. that would have been so Your funny. Knows no what we're going to do here is I have to break my bank. I'm going to just clear this entire field. Golden Fighter. Let's get rid of the Goku. Goku's gone. 7,001 card. We're going to go ahead and use this on the trunks. Lend me your energy. And because I'm so confident that he's going to have nothing else on his field, I'm just going to go ahead and activate this. Oh, I could have done that. So let me not activate that. Again, I like the fact that you can you can back up. Uh, I think I'm going to end my turn right here. Prize, motherfucker. Big on. Of course you, you did that. Me. Now I'm going to take 3,000 damage here. Fantastic. Good news is I can just KO his uh, Frieza here and not deal too much damage. And he's got nothing else in his hand, so I'm not really worried. Give me something good. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of good. Activate this. 
Oh, no, this is only for cards. Okay, so I'm actually go ahead and bring out... Well, let's bring out you. For 11,000. I might just do this. Because he's going to have 20,000 HP. Because of that. And... I guess I'll activate... You. On you. Alright, now we can just... We can take we can take we can take this entire game back to us. Your move. If you don't have a card that kills this Frieza, you're gonna you're gonna basically you lose in two turns. Here I go. Of course they got a, a Gohan. Why would they not? But that's fine because you're gonna restore their bank. I I, I agree. Actually no, I'm gonna just use this. I'm gonna just activate um, the special beam cannon. And go ahead, hit me for a thousand. It's not gonna do anything. You you you're just you're tickling my balls right now, bro. Literally just. Falling my balls with that weak ass attack. Okay. Let's. Oh, this is this is great. This this is just getting better. So we're gonna activate this first. Get, get rid of you. There you go. And I am just going to attack you directly. And if all works out, unless he gets something crazy where he is literally about to kill my card, if he tops next a, a knockout card, I lose. If he tops, top decks a knockout card, I lose because, of course, what'd you get? Not go easy. Not, oh, that's just go to another get summon afterwards. All right, I'll fight. Ah, guard Gohan. Interesting. So now he's gonna attack before all three of those, all four of those, and then three thousand with these guys, which is gonna do nothing. But the thing is, is I win because I'm about to bring out uh, my knock, uh, my knockout Death Beam Frieza, and win. This Frieza deck is literally unbeatable. Well, it's it's very beatable. If you brick, then there's nothing you can do. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we'll bring you out, and let's just go ahead and get rid of this uh, this guard card. Yeet. Yeah. You know what? I'm childish. Because I don't like to be challenged. I'm going to add some uh, HP to myself. Another 3,000 for no reason, or 2,000, whatever it does, and attack it directly for game. Oh. Uh. I can't believe you've done this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it at that. If you enjoyed today's Dragon Ball Card Warrior video and you want to see more of these, hit that thumbs up and I got you. My goal, again, is to try to do this at least once a week, but I don't want to overdo it. Like, if this is one of those series that's so going to get boring over time, I'd rather not do videos like this. But to those who do enjoy it, I definitely like playing more because this game is a lot of fun. And for love of God, Bandy Namki, release this on a Switch or something. I hate having to get on my PS, uh, on my PlayStation to play it. I'd rather be able to, like, play it on the go or something, like on my Switch or even on the phone. Because it's a lot of fun to play. I just hate having to get him on console to play and stuff like that. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.